we said that we we're going to run through uh, our gear to get to sort of get us started on this uh, on the journey of Instagram and YouTube and all that technology stuff that you guys do. Um, it's all fairly new to us, so uh, you'll have to bear with us. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So when we started our journey, we started uh, quite a few years ago, but. Um, to run through our current gear, we're driving a 2015 Ford Ranger PX model. Um, pretty stock standard model Ranger. Um, just got the normal gear on a Ranger, if you like, lights on the front. As far as upgrades to the car itself, uh, really no upgrades. Um, it's got a set of wild track wheels on it, but apart from that, a few I put a Brown and Davis fuel manager in it but everything else in the car is stock standard. Um, um, the old girl's got 185,000 K on her. Uh, she's still going well. Probably could do with an upgrade. We probably could do with a new car. But at this point in time with the bigger van um, that we're towing as opposed to our last 18 foot six van, um, it tows okay. Uh, could be a little bit better. Fuel consumption's probably a bit higher. Uh, but it doesn't run, I'm not running uh, three-inch systems or upgraded intercoolers or remapped engines. Uh, we're just running a stock standard car for now. Uh, on the roof, uh, we've got standard shovel, axe, a roof rack. Um, we've got some pipe over the other side for, for our fishing rods and an awning. Uh, Towards the back, we've kept the normal. We haven't got a we haven't got a canopy on this, so we've kept it normal. So I've fabricated um, a rack here uh, and a solar panel on top, uh, which has allowed me to put our treads underneath, mount our treads in under here, and um, that's about uh, that's about all the gear we have on it. In the back, just running a standard Titan one drawer couple of boxes um, and of course the extra battery for the solars up in the back front of the back but apart from that um, that's all we're running on the on the Ranger and uh, for us um, as I said maybe a little bit extra fuel we're paying for but the Ranger runs really beautifully we're really happy with it uh, we'll probably go with another Ranger next time maybe for, throw a few upgrades on it uh, if we decide to head off on uh, on the full lap um, in a couple of months time but we'll see how we go okay so onto our van this is our third RV we started with a homegrown bus that I sort of built myself uh, many 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 years ago and then uh, about four years ago we bought our first caravan when we decided to start traveling a bit and in February last year uh, we took, we took uh, ownership of this particular van. Now this van we purchased after much consideration and research. We purchased an Essential. Um, we like Essential. I like the finish. Uh, value for money, I think they're, they're, they're a great van. Uh, we do, however, I do, however, recognise that there's hundreds and hundreds of models of vans out there and everybody's each to their own, everybody's got their own opinion on what, what, what is the best and what they prefer. This suits us uh, because it's a little bit unique inside, which we'll get to. So this is an, an essential design 10, 22 foot, 10 inches, so 23 foot approximately, uh, purchased through Ian Grant uh, in Taralgon. It's a cruiser, uh, not a semi-off-road or an off-road van. Uh, it allows us to keep the weight down. The uh, tear weight on this is running about 2,418 kgs, uh, which is allowing us plenty of uh, plenty of room to store our stuff, and well within the range of the range of towing it. So our weights are pretty are pretty great. Additions to our van, as we just quick, we'll quickly walk around it, uh, we've put a grip sport on the front to take our our two mountain bikes. Um, they're essential as well that we take these bikes because uh, once we get into it, we've got to knock a bit of the old off the thumb and get ourselves back into shape. So as we move around the van, um, 
not too many things that I've done to it. Uh, I fitted an external clothesline. Uh, there are various different types. I don't travel with the clothesline on. If you look up here, you'll see that I've screwed into the frame of the leg a turnbuckle, and I've got another one on the on the rear leg, and I just attach the wire, tension the turnbuckle up, and that's our clothesline. We only need a single wire. It's all stainless, 316 stainless steel, so it won't rust, won't cause any problems. Turnbuckles are tight now, so they travel well. Obviously, front tunnel boot. I put uh, larger pad feet on the um, on the feet on the van. Basically, they're plastic. I'll see how they go. Uh, they give they just give a bit of a sturdier footprint. Moving back along the van, we've got all the standard stuff: speakers on the outside, um, uh, your vents, obviously the um, uh, the TV stuff. Uh, TV connections and the 240 volt 10 amp outlet um, table uh, up towards the door I fitted a shoe rack now or a towel rack the idea of this I picked this up at Howard storage this is simply just a, a rack that we picked up at Howard storage and it travels in the van I've put a couple of small galvanized hooks on here and we just pop it on when we pull up and it sits there. We can leave uh, sunscreens, towels, you can get your shoes up off the ground if they're wet or if you're worried about spiders or cockies or snakes or whatever getting into your boots if you're out west, you can just get them up off the ground. You'll see up here above the door I've got a, a fitting that stays on the door. So I picked this item up at BCF. Uh, it's an infrared motion sensor light. Um, the mount stays on the door, uh, it's got three positions, you can either have it on permanently, you can have it off, or you can have it in the uh, motion sensing position. To put them on, to travel, really simple, uh, When I'll turn it on for you because it's not really dark at the moment, it'll come on like that, and that's actually in the sensor position right now. Um, they're a really great idea, wherever you are, I'll just give you a sense of light. To get them off, really simple, we just depress a little button and we turn them off and they're off. Turn the item off, store it away. Really, really handy little item. Moving around the back of the van, <coughs> just done a few mods to the back. Uh, obviously I've moved the rear bar out, I've fitted the um, water, extra water or fuel container, whatever you prefer, inside the bar. <coughs> Just fitted a gear bag on the back. Um, and I put a toolbox on the back which is carrying things like light things like mats, uh, some wheel chocks, a um, couple of tools, etc, etc. Um, and we carry our I just carry a brush to clean the van down, okay? Rear window on the Design 10, um, you'll see that inside. It just allows us to, while we're sitting at the club lounge inside, it just gives us uh, a really breezy, airy sort of feel inside the van. So just on this side of the van, again, uh, we're able to, when we pick this van up, uh, we've got the uh, we've got the upgraded um, the upgraded hot water system, not, not the suburban. We've got the Swift system on ours. Uh, two water tanks running two 95 litre water tanks. Uh, the Dometic fridge inside, which you'll see 190 litre. The gas outlet, very important for everybody when you are travelling out west. You'll see a lot of people will put a cover over this side of the van to try and keep the fridges cool. Be very, very careful that you don't get it right on this, your cover, because you, when you're running on gas, you've got um, very, very hot air coming out of this, venting out, uh, and last thing you want to do is melt your cover um, if you've got your cover too close over your fridge. The Dometic fridge on the essential vans, if you notice up top, they vent through the top as well. Uh, ours is a three-way absorption fridge, so hopefully 
um, we'll see how we go with the temperatures when we move up north. Moving forward, obviously this is toilet cast out and up front now we have the 15 amp power in um, and the RCD unit or the earth leakage unit uh, on the van up the front. So I think uh, that's pretty much the van on the outside. We'll uh, duck into the van now and have a quick look inside. Um, but uh, really happy with the van. So we'll move inside now and have a little look at uh, the inside of the van just to finish off with. So come on in, welcome. Um, obviously we, we run the muck mats. Uh, everybody uh, will understand what the muck mats are. Uh, we run one, the inlay mat, and we run one on the outside there, obviously a terrific mat. So come on in. <clears throat> okay, so our van inside, as I said, is the Design 10. Um, for us, the Design 10 is, uh, serves our purpose really, really well. Uh, lots of storage. Lots of storage in this van. Um, which is part of the reason we went for this particular van. Standard kitchen, uh, obviously oven, full size oven, three gas burners, one electric. Uh, we have a condiments pantry here. Keep most of our food above, above the, the sink. Uh, obviously our utility drawers and our under sink areas under here. Plenty of room. You'll notice around the top we've got eight. We've got four large, uh, four large on this side, four large at the back, and, and two other cupboards on this end. Um, all full of various stuff. The heart of the van is up here, running the BM Pro uh, battery plus, and our water tanks. Um, and our controls are up there. So one of the other, um, one of the other important things, or, or other reasons that we went for this, is the club lounge. So the club lounge were, is big enough for us to able to entertain. And obviously, if we have family or anyone travelling with us with these, with this particular one, uh, we can configure it, drop it down, um, configure any which way. Uh, and we can turn that into a bed. So uh, we did that on our trip up to, the, to Queensland where, we, where our uh, daughter and her partner came with us and they were able to, we were able to put the Wanderer uh, mattress on the top after we popped the bed down and they were able to travel and sleep in the van with us. So one of the other small items that's, uh, that's uh, you may be interested in is I've purchased what's called a balder. This is when you hit the button, this is inside, outside temperature, date, time. They're just a, they're online from uh, balder, B-A-L-D-R. Um, really handy to give your inside and outside temperature. The outside sensor uh, just sits outside and uh, and Bluetooth to, to that unit. Washing machine is under here, 190 litre fridge, three way absorption fridge. Uh, microwave and pots and pans and crockery in here. Again, plenty of space. Ibis 4 up top, keeping us nice and cool at the moment here on the Gold Coast. Um, pretty much, we run this all the time and they are fantastic. They're quiet, uh, reliable, haven't had an issue with it. Um, touch wood, um, but um, everything has been, everything has uh, just run so well since we picked this particular van up. Again, uh, got to really thank the guys at Ian Grants, give them a great shout out down at Peralgan. Uh, they've just been fantastic for us. So, <clears throat> as we move forward into the um, toilet, the shower area and the vanity, uh, another huge selling point for us to purchase this particular van is that we have all this space in here 
but we also have the ability to close off the toilet and the shower area um, just by way of uh, a cantilever door which clips across just for privacy um, and we've still got quite a generous area in here um, and as well as that because I sleep I go to bed late and I get up early uh, I'm able to come down this end watch television and not disturb Jennifer she likes to read of a night and she likes to sleep in a little bit more than I do in the morning so uh, I can close the doors uh, Jen can sleep in and then she can use the amenities without having to come out here into this area okay because we've got uh, television here standard just the standard NCE equipment now uh, let's have a quick look down here further down here um, moving into the vanity <coughs> We've fitted, um, I'll stick a light on, we've fitted uh, just some, um, just some uh, lock type items from, um, fusion lock type items from uh, Bunnings, um, different mirror uh, that we've stuck on the top there. And of course, one of the beauties of this van is it has a full size shower in it. So, our last van I had to squeeze into the shower, but this one is full size um, and I'm able to move around and have a tub and yeah, so at the moment we've just got the dirty washing basket sitting in here um, because we're on the driveway at our son-in-law and daughter's place. For the bedroom, uh, as we said, we can shut this bedroom off or we can lock it we've locked open when we travel. We put a mirror on the back of the door and it actually allows um, allows Jennifer when she gets dressed or when I get dressed and we want to look that we're trimmed up and we're looking our very best to meet you guys when we finally do. Uh, the trusty owl mirror tells us tells the, the truth of the matter. So we open the door, pop it open and we'll move into the bedroom. So in the bedroom the only item that we have effectively or two items that we've uh, or two things we've done in here we've taken the hanging space in here away and i have fitted shelves into here we prefer to roll and fold our clothes don't look too much in there but we've uh, this gives us uh, storage more storage space for rolled clothes along with the three drawers down the bottom um, and i've done the same on my side uh, with the three cupboards uh, uh, above, we are we're pretty we're pretty good for storage, and of course we've got the underbed storage. We've left the we've left the shelf in. I know a lot of people take them out. We don't have a problem, um, and we've actually put a topper on the bed, so uh, we don't have a problem with that. We love it. Uh, we're quite comfortable in here, even it may, with me being a bit over six foot. Um, I fitted a Sirocco fan to the bottom of the unit that houses the uh, second television connections and we've got the small corner cupboard down the bottom uh, which is just used for mainly vanity type stuff. Uh, that's where I keep my hair dryer and my hair straightener um, for when I want to use it. Uh, and that's about, uh, that's about it. Um, so I just moved back out into the into the um, lounge area. Right, so that's pretty much us. Um, that's our car, this is our van. Um, we're really at this point in time super excited uh, to be on the very, very start of our journey, on the verge of traveling around, um, seeing all the places that we haven't seen, meeting a lot of people. We're hoping to interview as many people as we can that are real characters and salt of the earth people on the way around. Um, big shout out to Ian Grant, uh, to Phil and Ash, Scott, um, and the ladies down at Ian Grant's at Terralgan. Uh, absolutely fantastic when they knew we were going away, checked our van over for us, 
um, and we have not had an issue with the van. Their after sale service I've found is absolutely second to none. The van, the quality, we haven't had an issue. We've probably travelled at this point in time up around four, four and a half thousand K in the van and had not had one thing go wrong. Touch wood, we'll touch wood because caravans are pretty unpredictable. I hope that we get to meet you guys on the way around. If you have any questions, please um, send us a comment, um, ask a question. Um, as I said, technology wise, um, probably not much good to you. This is all new to us. Um, caravanning a little bit different. You know, we've, been, we've done a little bit of it now in various forms and we are so looking forward to meeting people. Um, in the meantime, until we do meet, I hope you stay safe, enjoy your travels and I really hope that we get an opportunity to have a brew with you on the way around and a chat. Bye.